Hey all you Pokemon trainers out there, welcome back! This week I'm so excited because I finally get to share and debut with all of you my new series here on the channel called What's in the Box. Now this series is so legit that it even has its own intro music. Yes, its own intro music and it's rapped by a rapper that's not me. No, I wouldn't be doing that. So let's cue that music! Yeah, what's in the box, what, what's in the box? Real breaking Nate, yeah, he rocks. The mystery box has arrived. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. So welcome everyone to the very first episode of What's in the Box. Now it's revolving around this box right here. Every single month I will get a box full of Pokemon merchandise all the way from the Pokemon Center's in Japan. Yes, all the way from the Pokemon Centers in Japan that has so much merchandise that you would probably poop yourself. That's how cool it is. So much merchandise that you will never see here in the United States. I have a friend that goes to the Pokemon Centers over there and picks up some Pokemon merchandise then sends it to me. Here's the cool part though. I have no idea what she's sending me. This is a box full of random Pokemon merchandise. I get it. And then I'm going to open it up for the very first time with all of you. So we're both figuring out at the exact same time what is in this box. Now, I keep pretty up to date on all the merchandise here in the United States, the rest of the world, and Japan. So if I know what it is, I'm going to kind of give you guys an explanation. But if I don't know what it is, then we'll try to figure it out together and we'll make our best guess of what it could possibly be. But I assume that there's going to be a lot of pooping my pants because... All this merchandise in Japan is super, super cool. I wish we had it here in the United States. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. But that's the series. We're going to find out what is in this box. So let's get to it and find out what's in the box. Let's open up this box right now and figure out what exactly is inside. What? Look at all that Pikachu merchandise. This is all merchandise from Japan. We're going to go through this one by one and try to figure out what every single item is. Um... It's all Pikachu, and I love me some Pikachu, especially when it comes to merchandise. So let's figure out what's in this box. All right, so the very first thing in the box that caught my eye is this Pikachu butt right here. This Pikachu butt keychain. See, there's no front to it. It's just the tail and the butt. Now, this is from the Pokemon Hip Pop Parade line in Japan right here. You can see the tag, all the Japanese writing right there, front and the back. Um, now this actually came out in October, I think it was around October 10th, the day before my birthday, October 11th, and this line revolves around all kinds of Pokemon butts. Now, I gotta admit, this is something that I think would sell in the United States and the rest of the world really, really well, um, because it's really unique, and I think this is possibly the first time that um, the Pokemon company has done a line revolving around Pokemon butts specifically, um, and I think it's pretty cool. Ooh, uh, you could possibly win this. I'm going to tell you about um, the giveaways in the What's in the Box videos every single month, so stay tuned for that at the end of the video. I thought I'd just bring that up. Let's go to the next item. All right, the next item I am super, super excited about. Look at this right here. This is Pikachu butt underwear. Yes, Pikachu butt underwear. You can now have a Pikachu butt on your butt. I'm not going to model these off because this is a kid-friendly channel as well, so I'm not going to model those off, but I do think I know someone who will model these off for me. Let me let me go grab them real fast. All right, check me out without. He is rocking in his boxer brief Pikachu butt. Look at that. Look at that, it's got a little Pikachu face right here on the front, right there. And then of course, the Pikachu tail right there on the back. And then the band says, Hip Hop Parade. So this is from the Hip Hop Parade line as well when we saw this little Pikachu butt keychain. So these are pretty awesome. Um, they are definitely in my size, so I will be wearing these. If we take a look at the package right there, the package shows the front and the back, all the Japanese writing. And then you can see right there, it does say Pokemon Center right at the very top. So you know they came straight from the Pokemon Center. But I gotta admit, I think I am in love with these things. I wish I had about 50 more pairs so I could wear one every single day. I wish I could not wear pants so I could just wear these so everyone could see them. Fortunately, you can't do that. You gotta wear pants with them. These are pretty cool. If you're ever in Japan, I suggest picking up a pair of these. How awesome is that? Maybe one day you can own your very own pair of Pikachu butt boxers. 
So the last thing in the box is actually, it's multiple items, but it's a complete set of something. Um, I don't know if you guys know what Gashapon is, but it's like little vending machines. Like, you know, if you go outside of um, a grocery store here in the United States or most of the world, there's little toy vending machines that you can, you know, you put a, put some change in and then you get a little plastic toy. Well, they have those in Japan, but they're actually a lot higher quality and cost anywhere from one to six dollars. Um, talking US, uh, US money wise, but they're a lot higher quality and a lot of them can fetch a lot of money on the secondary market. They become collector's items. So this is actually a big thing in Japan. Look, little little figures right there that come in those little plastic capsules. You guys have all seen those in, in the stores outside of your grocery store. Um, there is a bunch of them. Now this is a complete set. I'll go through these one by one. This is actually like Pikachu desktop buddies. Um, I'm pretty excited to get these because I know exactly what they are and they will go all over my desktop. Um, I'm going to show you guys these and I guarantee you after you see these, you are going to go try to find your own set. I promise you that. These things are awesome. Guys, I'm so excited about these. Let's open these up. Ah! Okay, so let's take a close-up look at these little Pikachu desktop buddies. I did have to pause my recording so I could go find out what exactly um, all of these did because I knew what some of them did, but some of them I was stumped on, like this one right here. Um, I was like, oh man, what does he do? Maybe he just sits there and he's like your little Pika pal. But what it's actually for is for headphones. That's it's It's that simple. All you do is, um, I think maybe, yeah, just like this. And it ties around like that. Um, you get you get the idea how, of how it works. And it just kind of um, kind of keeps your headphones in order. So maybe the the cord's not that long. You could use your headphones, or maybe you could even use your 3DS cord right there. That would probably work too, even though the wire's a little bit bigger on uh, 3DS cords. But this is what that Pikachu's for. He's basically um, keeping those wires in check. Now the next one I thought was almost the exact same thing as the first one um, doing the little headphone cord thing but it's actually not. Um, it is holding a flower back here and it does have a little space between the head and the tail. Now like I said I looked these up I paused the video recording the video so I could figure out everything that these did. Um, this one holds note cards right there that's what that space is for to hold a note card so maybe you need to be reminded of something and boom your little pika pal is going to be right there to remind you how awesome is that that is really really cool um i think i like this one better than the cord one i don't know if i'll ever use the cord one i'll probably just kind of set that one aside and it'll just be there for decoration but i definitely use a lot of note cards so i'm going to be using this one next up is the sleeping keyboard pikachu how adorable is this now this thing just sets on there it doesn't clip i actually thought it clipped and i was like smashing my keyboard trying to figure out but it just sets on there and i think it can set on any of the keys that you want um so yeah maybe you want it on the space bar down there or you want it up here and that's all it does how adorable is this thing i think so far out of the three that we've looked at the sleeping keyboard pikachu is my favorite so far Okay, so this next one is kind of tricky um, because it comes with this detachable leaf right here that it's holding. So you think that that's actually part of it. I mean, it is part of it, but that's just kind of there for decoration if you're not actually using the Pikachu what it's used for. Um, what it's actually used for is to hold your pen. This is what it does. Look. Boom, right there. Pikachu holding your pen or pencil. That's pretty cool. I think that one trumps the sleeping keyboard one. I think these get better and better every single time. So yeah, this one just holds your pen or pencil. If you don't have a pen or pencil, then um, you can just put the little leaf right there and Pikachu will hold it for you because everybody needs a Pikachu to hold their leaves. All right, now this next Pikachu is actually supposed to sit on top of your monitor and just kind of rest there. But for some reason, my monitor seems to be a little bit thicker and it actually doesn't fit. Um, see right there, it doesn't fit at all. But I figured out something else that you can use it for, which is, it might be a little bit cool, cooler than the monitor. Um, it makes a really great cup buddy. Right there, boom. So if you want to pretend that that's the monitor, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. Or you can put it on a drinking cup right there. Um, I don't know if it'll fall off. 
It looks like it will, and it dives right in there. But hey, I found a use for it since it won't fit my monitor. Pikachu in a cup. All right, so how is my iPhone standing up? Look at this right here. Pikachu is holding up my iPhone. How crazy is that? This is by far, hands down, my most favorite Pikachu out of this whole Gashapon bunch right here. This Pikachu holding up the iPhone is probably the cutest thing I have legit ever seen in my entire life. He's so struggling. He's like, oh my God, I can't keep up the phone. It's too heavy. Why do human have to use me to watch phone? How awesome is that? I told you guys that you are going to want to get you some of these after I show them to you. And if this one right here doesn't make you want to go grab one, then I don't know what kind of Pokemon item you are going to get excited about because this is one of the coolest things I have ever seen right here. Thank you so much, Pikachu, for holding up my iPhone. I appreciate it. Guys, that's everything in the box. I know I'm sad to see nothing left. Uh, but don't worry. This is a monthly series. So every single month, I'm going to get a box and then we'll open it up here in addition to all the other fun Pokemon videos there are um, on this channel. Now, what I was talking about the giveaway earlier is every single month um, in these boxes, I will give away one random item from this box to you guys. All you have to do is be a subscriber and in that month's video, just tell me what your favorite item was in that box. It's that simple. So just hit that subscribe button right there and then comment below on what your favorite item is in that box. And then boom, you could win. So basically there's gonna be at least one giveaway every single month because you could win something from the box in addition to all the other giveaways that we do as well for all of you. All right, that's it for this week's video, guys. I want to give a huge thanks to Sashtina, who gets all this Pokemon merchandise for me and sends it to me so we can all enjoy it. And then Tyler, who wrote, produced, recorded that awesome intro for this What's in the Box series. So thank you so much, guys. My glasses are falling down from all this excitement. So don't forget to subscribe because we put out new Pokemon videos every single week for all of you to enjoy. You can go back right there and watch my previous videos. Hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all next week. Peace out, Pokemon trainers!